Hey everyone, it's MJE Web Design back with another tutorial. Uh, but first, before we get into this, I just want to say sorry for being active, inactive uh, for the past couple of weeks. I've uh, been busier than I thought with other stuff, and um, and yeah, I want to start adding a schedule into uh, the channel. Maybe one video per week from now on. So um, in the comment section below, just suggest some uh, video ideas for me, and I will get those done. I could really do with some if I'm going to start doing one video per week. Um, after a while, I'm just going to, I'm just going to uh, not know what to do. But uh, anyway, now that that's uh, out of the way, let's get straight into this. So, creating a drop-down menu with sub-menus. Uh, this is pretty much like uh, the video I made about a year ago, which was about creating a drop-down navigation menu. Except we're going to be adding those sub-menus onto the drop-down navigation menu. Uh, so. You'll notice that there's a, a div here, which is wrapper. Uh, if we go into the styling, uh, I've just got a wrapper here. This is basically just keeping it uh, central and away from the top, just for uh, uh, demonstration purposes, just so it's out of the way. Um, and you just some body um, uh, styling, just, uh, just for this tutorial. Uh, it basically just uh, gets rid of the default padding or margin that the body adds it's i've added that little overflow that's why scroll just some um just a font font size and background color um so you can really go ahead and just ignore all that we're just going to go ahead into the uh wrapper div and we're going to div id equals nav and I'm going to end up with a comment. Uh, I'm going to suggest that you get into the habit of adding comments. Uh, it makes your uh, coding much more organized and easy to edit. So, um, UL. And then LI. Okay, and we'll just have, we're going to call this uh, item 1. Alright, we're just going to copy and paste a couple of these down here. Let's have so that oh, okay. Let's not have that many. So all right, so we've got item one, two, three, four, and five. Let's add some drop down menus. So we'll add a drop down menu onto the second one. So we're gonna have drop down, and this is gonna uh, drop down one, and we'll have one at the end here, and call that drop down um, two. So now we've got one two and three all right so now we've got item one drop down one item two item three and drop down two so we're going to go ahead and get rid of these starting tags and uh move them uh to the end of the uh, li tags now the reason we're going to do this is that we're going to get rid of that gap that is uh put there by default uh, i could have showed you well, anyway, uh, with list items, basically, there's a l little gap that's put um, by default in between each one. So, by doing by moving this starting li to the um, back of uh, this li tag, it just gets rid of that gap and makes it look a lot more clean. So, I'm going to go ahead and just show you um, what we have so far. As you see, not much. Um, we're going to add the sub menus now. No, sorry, we're going to add the, add the drop down menu. So, uh, at the end of the LI, in between the end of the uh, link tag and the end of the li tag, I'm going to click there, hit enter twice, tab it, and we've got ul, another ul, and some more list items. However, these ones are going to have different names to the previous ones. So, let's, let's do this drop down item one. Okay, we'll just go copy and paste this again. Let's we'll have that many. Two, three, four, and five. Now I'm gonna add a sub menu here. So I'm gonna have sub menu uh yeah, yeah, sub menu one. Alright, so now we have uh drop down item one, drop down item two, sub menu one. I'm three four. All right, I'm just gonna do the same. We're just gonna do the same for um, these. We're just gonna copy and paste them. Um, hit enter here, 
and we're gonna V there. Wait, no, we're not. We need to add the uh, URLs. I probably should have just copied the uh, URL tag as well. Uh, we'll paste that into there. So we've got drop down menu, drop down item one, two. So we'll move the sub menu to somewhere else. Drop down item three, four, and five. Uh, we'll have the sub menu at the last one this time. Alright, so now let's see where we're up to. Okay, so we're starting to see the structure. Item drop down, then you've got to drop down uh, items. Um, Alright, so let's go in between that end link tag and the end li tag for the sub menu, and we're going to basically do exactly the same for the sub menu as we did for the um, drop down menu. And I'm just going to paste and tab a bit. And we're just going to change the name to submenu item one. I'll, uh, I'll just sort this out here. Right. Okay. So, so submenu submenu item list submenu item one two three and four, and we'll copy that. I'm not going to go. And, oops. Do the same for the submenu up here. Okay. So. In between the uh, end of the link tag and the end of the li tag, uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy that in there, and submenu. Uh, we'll we'll have we'll have only three items this time. All right, so let's go and see what we've got. All right, so uh, item drop down menu. You get your drop down. Then you got your submenu. Then you got your submenu. Um, so. It does kind of show that it's working. It shows that the structure is working. Um, now we've just got to style it. So uh, that's pretty much all there is for the HTML. So we're going to go over to the CSS and um, we're going to do nav ul list style type as none, padding zero, and margin as none. So that list style item is going to um, get rid of the basically the style of the list. There's going to be nothing, so we don't want bullet points. And that padding ma padding zero and margin zero is going to get rid of any default spacing around the uh, list. Nav uh, ul li. We're going to have a display uh, display inline block, and basically that's wh what that's going to do. It's going to make the li uh, the the um, the list uh, list uh, horizontally instead of vertically. So I'll show you. So basically, what's going to happen now is these bullet points are going to disappear, and it's going to list uh, horizontally like that. Uh, as you can see, though, it's an absolute mess at the moment. Uh, so let's go and uh, we're going to do nav ulli hover, and this really has nothing to do with the. Um, Creating of the sub menu, it's just for like it's just for style, just for this tutorial really. That um, background color white on hover. I'm gonna do nav ul li uh, a visited. Uh, uh, we're gonna do display block padding 15px, and um, we'll have color as 888, which is gray. And text decoration as uh, none. So now you'll see we've got this. So this actually sh shows the structure even better. So as you can see, drop down menu hovers all over. It makes everything that's in that drop down menu white, except we can't see the sub menu very well at the moment. Okay. Uh, the display block on the link just make sure that um, the link covers the entire. Uh, list item instead of it just being um, just the the text it, you can click anywhere in this in the padding 15 p uh, pixels area okay so the next thing is um, we're going to do nav uh, 
actually, no, hold on. Actually, yeah. So nav ul li a hover. We're going to make color um, 444, four, four, which is slightly dark gray. So now when we hover over, the color is going to change to that darker gray. Okay. So I'm going to hit enter twice here. We're going to go into something new, which is the drop down menu. So nav ul uh, li hover ul. Uh, we're going to do display block nav ul ul display non position absolute. So what's it? What this is saying is um, that when we hover over the ul li, uh, it's going to make the ul uh, appear. So we've got the we've got the uh, ul ul set to display non. And then when we hover over the UL LI, it's going to make it uh, uh, appear with the display block. There we go. Now, something we also need to add are some greater than signs. Now, this is going to... Um, you don't really need to put these into a drop-down menu, but when you're using submenus, it, uh, it, it kind of requires. So it's going to be nav UL LI hover, and then we're going to do a greater sign there. It's from hover to UL. Now, I'm going to just, yeah, right, we'll go on to the nav ul ul li display as um, as block to make sure that the drop down menu is uh, listing vertically instead of horizontally now, because now we want it to look like this. Okay. So you're going to notice that this, the submenus are um, showing now. Now, if, if we got rid of um, that greater sign and we went on, you're going to realize that the submenu items are already showing. So you need this to to um, just determine which UL um, you want to display and which not. So we want to display, when we hover, we, on, we only want to display the items here, and then when we hover over this one, we want to show that. But we still need to style the submenu. And another thing that I'm going to quickly mention, in fact, I'm just going to add background color white to the UL UL so that it now does that. I'm also going to add min, oh, oh dear, min width 225 pixels. So now, as you can see, the drop-down menu is a bit longer and just looks a bit better um, when it comes to just, you know, just looks, basically. Uh, another thing that I'm going to go mention is the chaining color on um, the initial uh, items. Um, now, the, when you change a background color, it will stay as background color. When you change the link color, it's going to change back to its original color. Now, we don't want that because we want to show that when you hover down, you are over this one. So you want that to stay as a dark gray and not the uh, hashtag 888. Um, so for that, we're going to go ahead and go over here. And we're going to do nav uh, greater than ULLI uh, hover a color 444. Okay. So now as you can see, if we scroll down here now, move our mouse down here, it keeps that um, the dark gray, but it also gets rid of. Uh, we want these to stay gray, stay light gray. So just very simple. Just nav ul ul li a um, visited color uh, make that light gray. Right, sorry, my mistake. We need to make it like this. We need to do ul li hover. U L L I A visited, and uh, now that should change. There we go. And then, uh, uh, right, okay, there we go. So that was my that was my uh, my fault. Uh, so now when we hover over, uh, we're gonna go down here, and uh, you can see that it stays grey. Now the reason um, the colours aren't changing here. Honestly, I'm not quite sure it's doing that, but 
it works because instead of uh, changing the color, we're, we're just going to change the background color. So we're just going to do nav ul ul li hover background color and we're going to do f9 f9 f9. So now it's going to it's going to have like a little hover color. Okay. And that does it the same for this. All right, so we've pretty much done everything now. We just need to position the sub menu. Uh so that's actually very easy to do. Um, so the first thing we want to add is uh, nav uh, ul ul li hover greater than ul display block. Now we want to do nav ul ul ul. We're going to do um, margin. Now the way I'm going to do it is. Um, uh, kind of a simple way because a lot of people might do it this way some margin top and uh, but there's actually a simpler way basically I'll tell you this now margin uh, it goes like this top right bottom left so if we want to change this we want to change well, let's say minus 50 pixels top right we don't want to move it right we don't want to move it bottom but we want to move it left two to five pixels now this is going to move the sub menu to about where we want. So let's uh, let's say minus fifty two pixels. Is that about on? Yeah, that's about on. So now as you can see, um, uh, when we scroll over the sub menu, it's going to come up with this option over here. There's one thing we need to change, and it's the background color. We're going to change it to the same of the uh, hover state of the UL UL LI. I'm going to go back on here. As you can see. Oh, and as well as that, we'll also go ahead and nav UL 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 LI a hover color. Uh, we'll go for that f dark gray again. So now, as you can see, we have a working uh, navigation bar, working drop down menus, and working uh, sub menus. And you'll notice that on the one we haven't been looking at, it still works exactly the same. You know, you can add links to these uh, just like you would anything else. So let's do. Um, Uh, we'll link the um, drop down to sub menu one. So as you can see, if we refresh the page, we'll just go ahead and go to drop down two here. Click this, and it's going to take me to um, my uh, YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, basically that's been uh, a pretty simple way to create um, uh, drop down menus with sub menus. Uh, nice and clean style you know you can edit these colors however you want you can edit the font you can edit the font sizes um pretty much all you've got to make sure um of is that the margin and um the margin is set correct for this like this this bit here that's about it 